Hey guys, hope you're having a good week. Today I'm gonna to be walking you through some code that I wrote in Kotlin that is meant to build a to-do list app for Android. So let's take a look at it. What you got on the screen right here is our main activity file. This is the manager for the whole project. Let's see what we have in here. Um, we've got a to-do adapter and we're, we need this to-do adapter because we're using a recycler view. Um, I'll get into that a little bit uh, later, but that's where this lives, is in this file. Uh, we're also gonna be using a single to-do and that's what that looks like. So from the very beginning, we're going to set our content to the main activity, XML file, and that's gonna be this. Then after that, we're gonna go create a to-do adapter, which is gonna come from that. And then, on our to-do adapter for our recycler view, we're setting it equal to the to-do adapter that we just made. And we're also using a linear layout manager. That's important for the scrolling effect of our recycler view. And then we have our two buttons, a button to add and a button to delete. The one that adds uh, checks to get the input from our input box, which is down here. And then it checks to see if it's uh, empty. And if it's not empty, then we can add that to our to-do adapter. And we're gonna clear out the text field. Then the delete button just calls the delete done to-dos in our to-do adapter. So let's look at what the single to-do looks like. It's got a title and a checkbox, pretty simple. And this is what the to-do adapter looks like. So. First of all, we're creating a mutable list of to-dos out of these. And then we're creating a recycler view and a view holder. And the view holder, what it's gonna do, first of all, it's going to go in and inflate into the parent, which is our activity main, the item to-do file, which is this, a single to-do. This is the XML file for how that single one looks like. So we'll inflate one of those for every single item in this list and add it to the parent. Then this function right here, add to do, that's linked to our button. It adds it into our list of to-dos. Delete done to-dos does the opposite, removes them if they're checked. We also need to notify if things are changed. This function toggle strike through. The idea right here is if the checkbox is checked, then we're gonna strike through the text so that you can tell that one's done. And then this on bind view holder function right here is going to just bind our, our values to the current to-do item. So like the title, if it's checked or not, check to see if it needs to be striked through. And then uh, we also have a helper function down here to get the size of our to-do list. And here, like I showed you earlier, is the main activity. And here is a single to-do item. So let's see this thing in action. I'll switch over to my tablet real quick. Here we go. So I've got the app already loaded in here. This is what it looks like. As you can tell, we've got our button showing up in our input box. Click on that. We can add something in. So let's add a to do demo video. There we go. <laughs> Sweet. So we can add as many as we want. I'm just going to do numbers, make it faster. And we're going to put a lot of them in there so that we can see the interaction. That's not quite enough. Let's go to 15. Cool. All right, so as you can see, we can scroll through the list. And the nice thing about this is it scrolls over the top of the button. So it doesn't hide behind it like this. It scrolls over the top. So that's good. And then we can check one of these off. And as you can see, it strikes through the text. Then we have say hi to YouTube. 
we are going to strike through that one. And we can go through, select some of these, and delete them. And boom, they're gone. And we can get rid of those as well. And everything's working how it should. So yeah, that's my to-do list app built with Kotlin. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good day.